All right, so I have successfully converted my standard WordPress website to a headless one. And if you notice some of my images, actually all of my images are broken. And I actually expect it because once you converted your standard WordPress website, to bedrock the path directory of your images will be different now if i go into my file manager in here um you'll see that there's no longer wp like uploads on my end if i go into the public.html all of my uploads folder are sit on the app folder so i would really expect that my images are broken because it is um, redirected or it is pointed to the WP content folder. Now, if I'm going to open that and change the directory, actually that one, and then change it to just app and that, oh, it's not working, but okay, anyway, but actually probably I remove it for some reason, but like, let's say, let's use some of the global images that are broken right now as an example, this avatar. Now, if I'm gonna click on um, copy image, you'll see that the path of this avatar is still pointed to the WP, WP um, content. Now, if I'm gonna do it that way, and replace it with an app, it's still there. It is existing. So to fix that, we need to run a find and replace to our PHP my admin. And if you're using um, Hostinger, you should able to access that under the database and then management. I already opened it on my end in here. And yeah, all of the hosting provider have similar like it, it has, it might have a different way how you can navigate it, like in terms of UX, but just find the PHP my admin so you can go in straightly to, to this table. And yeah, so this is my database. And as you can see here, these are all my tables. Now, how you can find the images into your WordPress website. In a WordPress, typically, all of the posts and pages are stored into your WP underscore post like this one. Now, the problem in this is you can find a WP underscore post table because I have named the prefix to W, um, I think WP U2. Yeah, so WP p underscore post and wpu2 underscore post are just the same i just renamed or changed the, the table prefix into my database but as you notice in here there are over 1493 rows which is like a combination of my pages and posts now what we're gonna do here in our PHP my admin is we need to run this following script and okay you need to point first you need to go in first to your database and then you click on query SQL and then you need to run that now before we run this I just want to explain with you why or how this magic happened and how we can fix that with this single code. So what it basically means in here is we are trying actually not WP post, but W to underscore post. So basically what we are doing in here is we are trying to find the post content that is inside this table. Okay. I'm going to open a new tab for you to walk you to walk you through where this column sits. So again, we wanted to run. So we want to find all the post underscore content that has this, that has this, and then replace it with a new um, relative path, because this is where we upload all of our images now before this is the structure and we wanted to update it into a new structure okay now if we go back to our php my admin and then we look on our table as i said with you all of the posts all of the pages are stored into a wp post or wp youtube underscore post depending on how you write your prefix so 
if we double tap that and we go in in here so this one post underscore content this is where all the inline html in here are stored and one of those inline html is the broken image so if i'm gonna like view for page source all of this all of this here all of this um not that one actually um actually this one all of this are inline html and one of the broken image this one is inside that inline html and this inline html is um stored into a post underscore content um column so so that's why what we are trying to do in here is we want to do a find and replace to the post content here we want to find the or um like anything that has this and if we click on view post you'll see that there is one like that and we wanted to replace this wp content to a this new relative path we wanted to replace it with an app instead of a wp content now if we're going to run this over remember this one the old link is wp content but if we run that there is over um, 189 rows is affected and it is updated now if i'm going to run that it's ready run and we read we already update that so if we refresh the view source you'll see there no longer so wp content is already no result but if we replace the apps you'll see that the images link is already updated to app now if we go into our one of our posts and refresh our page the image is already there so that's how you can fix the broken images um i highly suggest as well that if there are like mostly if you are installing some wordpress plugins the tables will be will be also add app like right now there are a lot of tables that i need to remove that i don't think it's necessary to be there um for example learn dash i i already uninstalled that plugin i i'm not sure if i'm gonna i'm still i'm ready to create a a, a a lesson in learn dash but as you can see in here there's a lot of tables that are not existing anymore to my wordpress website so make it a habit to clean up your database if you have a little bit gas of your, or you already understand how this database works but if not always mock up your database to avoid any issues and yeah um basically you won't gonna be having a problem if the the table is coming from a plugin and if you already uninstall that as an example let's say gf form or gravity form and if you notice in here all of them are zero there are one probably like one means i probably created a gravity form before um if you don't need that in the future you can remove these tables in here but when you uninstall the gravi gravity form and you install it back it will be refreshed it will be it will start from a new one so but if you keep these tables um here into your database and you install back the wp form you would expect that there will be a one form created so it's basically storing what you have done so far so yeah that's how it works i hope you find that helpful and if you have any question comment down below if you're still having a hard time how you can fix that you can also leave me a message into my website just check on my link description below um for the continuation of this video i have also list the relevant videos about the bedrock and wordpress thank you and have a great day